Welcome to the OSM Hackfest session about OSM installation in DHA mode. This session is part of Hack1, OSM Architecture and Installation. My name is Titus Kurek and I will be your guide during this session. Before we get started, let's briefly talk about the rationale behind OSM installations in the HA mode. High availability or an HA is an essential feature of every production environment. It improves infrastructure resiliency and allows to recover from failures quickly. For the hackfest purposes, it may not seem to be important for you, but you will face a need for the HA sooner or later when deploying OSM in real production environments. Starting from the OSM release 7.1, you can now easily deploy highly available OSM clusters using the official Upstream installer, which allows you to stay closer to the Upstream and avoid vendor lock-in. Moreover, this installation method uses Upstream OSM charms, which in addition unlock the following benefits, model-driven deployments and operations, infrastructure as code approach, and full automation. All of that allows you to save time and thus results in lower operational costs for your organization. In the following video, I will teach you how to deploy and operate highly available OSM clusters. We will deploy OSM in the HA mode using the official installer. I will show you the exact steps that are required to get it up and running quickly. Later, I will show you how to monitor the installation process so that you could ensure that your installation has been successful. And finally, I will demonstrate how to perform daily operations of the OSM cluster, such as scaling the cluster out, reconfiguring services, and backing up the database using model-driven approach. If you are wondering what the prerequisites for this exercise are, then the answer is simple. You just need a Kubernetes cluster so that the installer could put all OSM services on top of it. But don't worry. If you do not have one already, the installer will set up MicroCades for you. MicroCades is a snap-based Kubernetes installation with a minimal footprint that is perfectly suitable for workstation deployments. In case you want to use any of your existing Kubernetes clusters, whether it's Charmed Kubernetes, Amazon EKS, Azure AKS, Google GKE, or any other platform, this is also an option. The installer is substrate agnostic and you can use it to deploy OSM on top of any Kubernetes. So now, as we know what the prerequisites are, let's have a look at how complex this procedure actually is. The installer bootstraps all necessary components required to run highly available OSM cluster, including Kubernetes cluster, Lexd cluster and Juju controllers. Once those components are in place, it installs and configures OSM services on top of Kubernetes. This whole infrastructure can run either on your workstation, on bare metal, on top of OpenStack, or in one of the public clouds. Sounds complex? Don't worry, the entire procedure is fully automated and orchestrated by the installer. So in fact, everything you have to do is to just execute a single command. The command takes a bunch of parameters that allow changing the default configuration of the OSM cluster. For now, it is required to explicitly mention some flags which indicate that we're going to use the 7.1 release. The charmed flag indicates that we intend to use charms for OSM installation purposes. An optional bundle flag allows us to refer to any external Juju bundle. Here, we use it to reference an OSM HA bundle. There are also some other flags that we will cover during the demo part of this video. Now, all you have to do in order to install OSM in the HA mode is to download the installer and execute it. That's all about the theory. We will now go through the HA OSM installation process and showcase how using model-driven approach simplifies post-deployment operations. We start by downloading the installer from the OSM website and adjusting permissions. We use Ubuntu Server 2004 LTS and the machine with 16GB of RAM, 4 vCPUs 
and 100 gigabytes of storage. The installer takes a bunch of parameters. We have to explicitly mention some flags which indicate that we're going to use the 7.1 release. The charm flag indicates that we intend to use OSM charms for installation purposes. The bundle flag allows us to reference an external OSM HA Juju bundle. In addition, we can use the following optional flags. kubeconfig allows us to define a path to the Kubernetes config file in case we want to deploy OSM on top of an existing Kubernetes cluster. Similarly, we can use an existing Lexd cluster by passing the Lexd cloud flag and referencing a path to a config file containing information about the cluster. An additional Lexd credentials flag allows us to specify the credentials. Finally, the controller flag can be used to reference an existing controller. We execute the command and the installer starts bootstrapping the environment. As the entire process takes a few minutes, we're going to switch to another environment now where the installation has already finished. We can track the installation process at any time by executing a juju status command. The command displays a snapshot of the current status of the juju model. We can see applications and application units used during the deployment. As we're deploying OSM in the HA mode, three units of each OSM service are created. Once all applications turn to the active state, we can consider the deployment to be finished. Now, I am going to demonstrate how the model-driven approach provided by Charms allows us to significantly simplify OSM post-deployment operations. We are going to perform three different operational tasks. Scale the UI service out, backup MongoDB database, and change the root password for the MariaDB database. Scaling the cluster out is as easy as executing a single command. We're going to add two additional units of the UI service so that we have five in total. We can watch the output of the juju status command in a watch loop. This command takes a while as Juju is bootstrapping new UI service units on top of Kubernetes. After a period of time, new UI service units are added to the OSM cluster. Backing up a MongoDB database is not any more complex. 
As the entire procedure is exposed in the form of a charm action, we run a single command to initiate the backup action and another one to copy the backup archive from the MongoDB pod to our client machine. In a similar way, we can restore the entire database from this backup in the future. Finally, in order to change the root password for the MariaDB database, it is sufficient to update the configuration option of the charm. We can again watch the output of the juju status command in the watch loop to see the changes being applied in real time. As you can see, using upstream OSM charms not only accelerates the deployment process, but also significantly simplifies daily OSM operations. Moving to the end of this video, let's briefly recap what we have learned. High availability is an essential feature of every production environment, so you will need it sooner or later. Fortunately, starting from OSM release 7.1, you can easily deploy highly available OSM clusters using the official AppStream installer. The installer is substrate agnostic, which means that you can use it to deploy OSM on top of any Kubernetes. Moreover, the entire installation process is as easy as executing a single command, which makes it user-friendly and allows you to get up to speed with your installation very quickly. And finally, as it was demonstrated, using charms for OSM installation can also significantly simplify its post-deployment operations, which results in cost savings for your organization. And that's all for today. I would like to thank you very much for your attention. In case you have any questions, you can find us at the osm.etsy.org website or send an email to the OSM tech mailing list at osm underscore tech at list.etsy.org. In case of any problems with the installer, please do not hesitate to raise a bug at the OSM bug tracking system at osm.etsy.org slash bugzilla. Your feedback is important to us and always much appreciated. Thank you very much for listening to this video and see you at the Hackfest.